Hello everyone and welcome to this brief video on some quick tips for starting your meditation practice. Now maybe you're getting back into meditation or you're just starting for the first time. You may be someone who's looking to use meditation to help you relax or for the many other health benefits that it offers. You also may be a therapist or a counselor here to learn more about meditation skills to teach to your clients. Either way, we hope this video will be helpful to you. And we're going to go over a couple of items to help you learn how to establish a daily meditation practice. And then also just some tips for starting your meditation practice. This might be a handy video to watch before you engage in the other meditations that we plan to post on this page. So let's start with establishing a daily meditation practice. Uh, it can be really helpful to try to set a time, uh, sort of like working out. If you don't set a time and if you don't have a plan, then there's a tendency to forget to do it or a tendency to put it off and then it doesn't happen. So it can be helpful to set a time. The beginning of the day can be great for people who worry they'll get too busy and they won't do it or people that tend to procrastinate. Uh, the end of the day can be wonderful if you're somebody who tends to run a little anxious during the day and your body relaxes more easily at night. You may want to try some different times in the day to figure out what works for you. You'll also wanna think about how long you wanna meditate for. There are many well-researched health benefits to a daily meditation practice of at least 30 minutes per day. However, I'm of the opinion that any time during the day that you can do a meditation, it will benefit you. So you may wanna set a goal for yourself, even if that's just starting with 10 minutes a day. The next thing to think about is finding a space. Is there a space in your home or in your workplace or even in your backyard that might be helpful for you to meditate in? It's really key that whatever space you choose feels very protected, very safe to you. So you wouldn't want to choose a space where people are going to be walking through or interrupting you uh, or where you, where you may be triggered in any way. Some people like to meditate in the middle of the forest. For other people, that would be much too scary. Uh, some people like to meditate in their bedroom with the door closed. Some people like to empty out a clothes closet and use that as their tiny meditation space. The key is finding what works for you. It needs to feel like a safe space for you to be in so that you can really relax and focus. Something else to consider is your posture when you meditate. Some people prefer to meditate laying down on a mat or on their bed. Uh, that really helps open up the lungs. It helps you breathe deeply from your belly and it can be very relaxing. However, if you're someone who tends to fall asleep when you do that, then that may not be the best plan for you, even though it feels very relaxing. Uh, some people like to sit down in a chair. And if you do that, you wanna make sure you're sitting in a comfortable chair that has good back support and your feet are resting directly on the floor. So your legs aren't crossed or folded underneath you necessarily. Some people like to sit on the floor against a wall and that helps them practice keeping their back straight against the wall and building up those back muscles and those core muscles to do that. Uh, you can sit on a cushion or you can try yoga mat folded into three sections. So it's really just important to find a position that works for you. Uh, for more serious meditators or people who have bodies capable of it, they prefer to sit on the floor without any back support, uh, sitting up straight with their legs folded underneath them. 
This is an excellent posture if it works for you. But we don't want anybody thinking that they have to use that advanced posture in order to meditate or to benefit from meditation practices. Just find something that works for you. You may want to experiment and see which positions you like best. It can also help to really tell yourself that this is your special time to relax and that it's okay to devote this time just to yourself. You may wanna start your meditation with some deep breathing to help your body relax and to help you focus inward. So you could start with doing some deep belly breaths that might be beneficial to your system, activating your parasympathetic nervous system and helping your body to calm down. Here are some other ideas. We talked about some body positions but what we didn't talk about is whether your eyes are closed or not. Um, <clears throat> meditating with your eyes closed can be helpful because it can reduce the stimulation of viewing things in your environment. However, for some people, they're really not comfortable meditating with their eyes closed yet. Um, for people with a trauma history, they may really wanna keep their eyes open at first and that's okay. If you need to meditate with your eyes open, the best thing you can do is try to find a fixed spot on a somewhat boring area. So maybe just a spot on the rug that you're gonna look at or a spot on the table in front of you so that your eyes aren't taking in uh, a lot of stimulating sights so you can concentrate on what's going on inside. You want your hands resting comfortably somewhere. Uh, generally speaking, the more comfortable you are, the less you're going to move around. And when you start moving around a lot in a meditation, it will decrease your concentration and focus. So you really want to try to limit your movement during the exercise as much as possible. We talked about all of the positions uh, here in this slide. So you may want to consider a meditation cushion. You don't have to buy an expensive specific meditation cushion. You can just take a cushion off your couch if you want to. Um, you can also take a cushion, off, a cushion off of a dining room chair or even a couple of pillows off of your bed if they're pretty firm. There are also uh, meditation items that you can buy that might be helpful. There are meditation chairs, but you don't need a meditation chair to be able to meditate. So don't feel like you have to make that purchase if you are comfortable in another way. Uh, people also enjoy using singing bowls to signal the beginning of their meditation or the end of their meditation. Uh, there are many beautiful options out there. I really enjoy singing bowls. However, they are not required to have a good meditation experience. So again, explore those if you like, but they're really not required. Don't feel like you have to make big purchases to be able to meditate. We hope that these, these tips were helpful to you and we plan to post several different meditation videos for you to watch. And you're welcome to watch those and use them uh, for yourself. Or if you are a therapist and you want to play some of these meditation videos for your clients, please feel free to do that. We do periodically offer meditation related continuing education courses. And for more information on that, you can check out our website, www.pacificcrestclinical.com. Thank you so much for joining us, and we hope to see you again soon. Take care.